What's good fam, welcome back to another video of the IS300 build or the recovery build. It's been a long journey so far. I'm getting closer and closer every day. And today we're gonna fix some crusty parts. The, um, I'm gonna replace the valve cover gasket anyway. So I thought, you know, maybe let's clean these up and then paint them to make it look kind of nice. So this is what the video is gonna be about today mainly, but let's get to it right now. But first we have to clean these. To get them looking clean, we gotta clean the, all the crustiness of this valve cover. We're gonna start off with my solution, the Super Clean. Spray it on there. I wanna drench it because soaking for like five minutes for the first part. Let it sit and then we'll pressure wash it off, see how much it comes off, and then if we need to hand scrub it and then super clean it, the greaser again, then we'll go from there. But for right now, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna spray it down and see how much cleaner it is without me putting a lot of effort into it. So let's do this. Oh. It would work if I have the tip for the pressure washer on there. Take two, let's do this. Okay, first pass, looks pretty good already. Oh. Looks pretty good already. I'm gonna spray the greaser one more time on it and then maybe a little bit of a hand scrub and then we're gonna spray one more time, that should be good. And then we're gonna scuff it up, get it ready, prep for paint. gonna take one at a time clean the inside here I am a not a, I'm not a professional cleaner so please excuse me but we're gonna spray this down with some of the greaser here it's already breaking down some of the old oil I don't care about the seals because I'm replacing them anyway but Look at this. Look at the difference between this one and this one. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is, some of these I can just kind of hand scrub them. But we're gonna clean this side and then let it dry it, wipe it down, dry it, let it dry, and then we'll do the prep for the paint. So I got them, got them clean. Uh, taped up, scuff, you know, all that stuff. I just used some sandpaper to scuff up the surface a little bit so where the paint can like stick on. But this is how it looks like right now. Pretty clean, taped up where I needed to be taped off. We're getting ready to paint. Let me show y'all what we're gonna use for paint. So nothing special, I just have this leftover engine and animal gloss black paint um, from when I did my calipers. If you've seen that, it's basically kind of made for this high temp parts. Um, we'll use that, it's gloss black. And then I have this duplex clear uh, effect thing. It's like a metallic, like flakes on it. It gives off like a, like a rainbow effect. You know, it's just a little bit of flare to it. So it won't be that basic. Honestly, the valve cover, no one really gonna see it much because it's under the hood anyway. So I just wanna make it look pretty since I have it apart already. That's why I have this gloss black here. And then use this, just give a little bit of flare, you know, when you look at it, shine a light on it gives it a little rainbow effect. So probably like three coats of this and then two coats of this clear. So let's get doing it right now. Let's do it. Start off with a 
like light coat. Pretty light coat. Like I said, maybe three coats of black and then two coats of clear. I mean, this is already kind of clear on it already, gloss black, but you know. Kind of heavy? Oh, wow. Well. I guess it's kind of heavy. It's kind of hard to get this evenly. I'm not looking for perfect perfection, so it's getting better already. So let's wait for this to dry a little bit, maybe 10 minutes, and then do the second coat. All right, three coats on, time to do the clear. It looks pretty shiny already. I mean, honestly, it has clear coat. This is just for the effect, so I'll probably do like two coats and then go from there. I might add a three just to see how, if I want it more sparkly, but you know, uh, I'm happy so far. It looks really good. So let's do this. Oh, I just sprayed myself. On accident. That's nasty, but okay. All right, last coat for sure. I had the sun hit this right here. I'll I record it a little bit. I'll put it in the, the clip right here. You can clearly see the effect already. So I'll just do one more coat of this just for protection. And then we should be done. Let it sit. And then we'll, after that part, we'll probably install this on top of the motor. Now, let me show you guys. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, man, the sun just went away, but. If I can't see it here, I'll show you guys more inside when I get some more light. So let it dry. On to the next step. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Can you see that? Rainbow. It might be, you know, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but gives it a little bit of differentness when you really look at it.